see the thing is is I just don't think my hands are really big enough to like securely hold her everybody welcome back to my channel today I am so excited because I got another new addition back in December I finally got my confirmed female grandma stola pulchra her name is Elvira before her I had purchased three grandma stola pulchras the first one I got was Salem and he turned out to be male the second one I got was shadow who also molted into a male and then the third one I got was a sling who is still tiny and I don't know if it's male or female yet I I digress. Yeah, I got another female. So the new female I got is actually even larger than Elvira. And I'm going to show you guys her and we're going to rehouse her and everything. But before we do that, I did want to rehouse Salem and give you a little update on all my other Grandma Stola Pulchras because now I have five, which seems excessive, but like there's just like something deep within me that feels like anytime I have an opportunity to get a Grandma Stola Pulchra, I should take it because it was so difficult for me back when I first started getting to tarantulas to even find just one. So that's my theory. But yes, I have five Grimmest Old Pulchras now and we'll just do a quick little update and rehousing of Salem. And then I will introduce you to Helena. Okay, so first up, this is just my sling. Not too much to see here, but I just thought I would show you guys. This one is already turning black, which is pretty crazy. It took shadow a lot longer. And you can see how bolty they can be. Okay, I'm gonna put this right back. So this one is just the baby of all my Grimma Stola Pulchra. And then next up I have Shadow. Shadow is my second to smallest one. He's feeling pretty shy, so I'm not gonna like disturb him too much, but he's been doing great. And yeah, I think he will actually be a perfect sized male for Elvira. And I think Helena will be a better sized female for Salem, so. Yeah. So next I'm going to show you guys Elvira. Now she is a little skittish. Thought I would go ahead and drop a cricket in for her just to see like if she wants it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think she wanted it. Girl, that was a crazy takedown. And two. So yeah, she's doing great also. Now remember Salem is very temperamental for a Grandma Stola Pulchra. He is not nice. Again, he was my first Grandma Stola Pulchra, but I have not really handled him like at all. Like in fact, I've handled Elvira more than I've handled him. But anyway, here he is in all his glory. And as you can see, he is quite a handsome spider. I favor him very obviously <laughs> and very openly. He is just a very beautiful Grandma Stola Pulchra. And so I've been wanting to upgrade him for a while from this Critter Keeper, but other spiders kept just coming up and it wasn't really a necessity because the size enclosure is just fine for him. Like it's not a terrible enclosure, but could we do better? Yes. So thank you so much Tarantula Cribs. They actually uh, slipped in another one of these. I didn't ask for it, but I certainly could use Use it. So yeah, we are going to finally be upgrading Salem into a Tarantula Cribs enclosure. And if you want to also get a Tarantula Cribs enclosure, make sure to use my affiliate code CAT10. It'll save you 10%. Check out these new boxes. This is like very fancy. It has a handle. Like I can't handle it. <laughs> very fancy. So we have one large terrestrial tarantula cribs and this is the white bottom one. Let's get some reptosoil in here. Put some more leaf litter in here, a nice hide. have this little bag from Tarantula Cribs also that has a few little accessories. We have more water dishes. And then also I have some springtails. All right, so I guess let's get Salem on over. There he goes. Yeah, he always turns. Instead of like going in the direction I want him to go, he always turns.
in this case, it's actually working out for us. All right, buddy. <laughs> Get rid of this thing finally. I don't know, I've been spoiled. I just don't like critter keepers at all anymore. You got a new enclosure. Here, get on out. There he goes. Oh, all right, there he is. And we're gonna give him the noisiest cricket. <laughs> Perfect. No drama at all. I think he's gonna love this new enclosure. It's gonna hold humidity so much better and it just, it looks better. I actually added another shelf to our bedroom and I like reorganized everything. It's looking really good. Let me know if you want like a bedroom tour with all my animals. But yeah, um, this will make it look even better in there. <laughs> Salem's new enclosure. I think he likes it. Okay, so now I'm finally going to introduce you guys to Helena and make her a new enclosure. She actually came to me in a 10 gallon glass enclosure, but it is actually cracked pretty severely right here. I wouldn't really wanna keep anything inside this enclosure. In fact, I'm gonna throw it away. We'll get a better look at her after I set up the new enclosure. I actually haven't even gotten a good look at her either. Um, I just picked her up shortly before this video, so I haven't like looked at her closely. I haven't picked her up. I haven't done anything for like yet. Like I literally just got her today. Oh, so I actually picked up an Exoterra. This is one of my favorite enclosures to use for like larger tarantulas, like larger adults. All right, we are going to fill it with some reptosoil. Some leaf litter. And I'm gonna also give her some springtails as well. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to reuse a few things from this enclosure. My friend put this enclosure together and I, I actually really like it. I love this um, water dish. It looks super cool. It's like a mossy tree root and it just looks really awesome in there. Should I reuse her cork? Oh, I feel bad. Oh, I'm getting dirt on her. This is all buried a little bit more than I was expecting. Oh, she webbed it up, of course. Yeah, I'll reuse this. I can definitely do that. Yeah, that looks great. I will reuse this plant, even though it's a fake plant. Um, it doesn't make sense not to use it because it actually looks good and it seems like she likes webbing it up. In fact, I've been using real plants a lot lately. I've gotta say, when they do this to real plants, when they web them up like this and sit on top of them, they just end up killing the plant. So give her a little bit of water, of course. I see she has a rock in her enclosure too. I did hear she is extremely friendly, but I'm not going, Oh, she's like, what are you doing with my rock? Oh, oh, I think she's hungry. I bet she's hungry. So I guess I will just try getting her into this. Sorry, I was trying to get the uh, dirt off her. Okay, all right, I got her. She is very big. Yeah, I really do like these racks, so I'm gonna move these into her new enclosure. It's right back here. Perfect. So I guess let's see if she's friendly. She does seem very friendly. She seemed hungry, but other than that. Um, so I did get her from my friend, and I was told that she's very friendly. Well, there she goes. <laughs> so I got her from a friend who got her from another friend. And the first friend that had her told me that they used to get her out to kind of demonstrate to people that tarantulas aren't scary. So they kind of made it seem that her disposition is very friendly. Um, even though I'm hearing that, I do want to be cautious. No, she does not like the feel of my hands. Oh, 
Okay. Alright. You're going the wrong way, my dude. She definitely seems extremely gentle, which is awesome. We just want her to go in this way. There she goes. See, the thing is, is I just don't think my hands are really big enough to like securely hold her. Like, I think that's why she's kind of like hesitant. Yeah, my hands are just not big enough. She's like the slowest runner <laughs> to Rachel I've ever seen. Okay, we're gonna put you in your home. Very gently guide her. Okay. All right. Oh boy. So yeah, she does seem extremely docile and like she lives up to the Grandma Stola Polk Girl reputation, but she's just so large. There you go, girl. She's just so large, it's hard for me to pick her up. Like, I, she's huge. <laughs> so yeah, her name is Helena, like My Chemical Romances, Helena. I just thought it was a really fitting name and I've been wanting to name a Grandma Stola Polka that. In fact, when I named Elvira later on, I thought, damn, I should have named her Helena. Like, I think I liked that name better. But um, fortunately, another female Grandma Stola Polka just came along. And so I was so excited. I was like, yeah, I can use the name Helena now because she just really fits that name and she deserves that name. She's very deserving of that name. I wouldn't name just any tarantula after that song. But yeah, what do you guys think? Like, look at her. She's so big. I'm going to drop some crickets in, but I'm actually going to do it tonight because I want her to settle down just like a little bit. I think she's fine, but we'll just let her settle down. So I guess that's it. I'll keep you guys updated and yeah. Oh, and don't forget my, my Wednesday plushie that's still on sale. So if you want it, grab it because it's the campaign's going to end really soon and they won't be available again. So if you want my Wednesday plushie, get it. Okay, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not. And you be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's actrancer.cat. You can go follow me there. I have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It's all linked down below and I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.